Very good morning, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well, and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Stella speaking. So it's my pleasure to announce that Angela, thankfully, is recovering very quickly. Uh, she still has some symptoms, but however, uh, she's now getting a lot in better shape. And however, uh, tomorrow, Monday, 8th of March, we're going to start again sending the forex signals in our Telegram group. So. If you guys wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact our support. You can find their contact details in the description below this video. Contact them today and hopefully we will see you there. So let's now begin with the weekly analysis. And of course, as usual, we will start with the Euro USD. Now, regarding the Euro USD, the very first thing we can notice right here is that the pair has created here what seems like a double top pattern, indicates that this long term bullish trend has over. And right now we can expect from the pair to move in a bearish trend or a bearish bearish momentum. Now that indicates that most likely we are going to start shorting the Euro USD. Now it's a matter of where we can start shorting it. Not yet. Let's analyze it deeper than that. Let, let me know here draw now a resistance line like this. And let's analyze this resistance line together. Right now we can see that the pair actually has created here uh, a resistance or a long term resistance or what we call a key resistance level and that has started actually almost in uh, July or August 2020. And also right here the market has created a second attempt also in, in August 2020. So we are talking about more than eight months more than eight months actually the market ha was actually holding this position this resistance zone was being respected for quite a long time then finally we can see that here right here the market has created a bullish breakout from that long-term resistance now the expected behavior is that the market is going to retest that broken resistance to create a support and that is exactly what happened the market has created right here a support but the problem it was one single attempt so it was only a support number one because it was a single attempt of the support. And when the market was attempting to create an, a, a second attempt of the support, the market has immediate, immediately broke out from that level. Let me delete this mess. So right here, as I said before, we had right here a support number one. And when the market has attempted to create a support number two, it has immediately broke out from that support level. What does that mean? That means the bearish momentum is stronger. The sellers or the bearish or the, the bears are actually winning this battle and therefore they are pushing the market to go down. So therefore what we can expect right now from that resistance level is going to keep its position again as a resistance after the pullback. So what we can expect right now from the EURUSD, the pair most likely is going to actually bounce a little bit more or creating a pullback and that resistance is actually going to keep its position as a resistance and from that point we can start shorting the pair. Of course all of that has been analyzed on the daily chart. On the daily chart we have confirmed the direction that is going to be, be for the bearish. Now let's move to the 4 hour time frame and therefore we can decide where we can start again shorting the euro USD. Now if we look right here, by the way I, I forgot to mention one thing also that we had right here a uh, support level and that support has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle guys i'm back to the daily chart okay on the euro usd this price action is very strong indicator that the market is actually going to continue the fall if you see here a bearish breakout candle that has a tiny small wick at its top and a normal size uh, tail at its bottom i would say that usually indicates that the market is going to continue the fall that's why I'm expecting from the, from the market on Monday opening to create a small pullback right here. And right from that point, we can start again shorting the pair. All right. Now, all of that has been analyzed on the daily chart. Going back to the four hour time frame, we can notice right here that we had the very same price action of the breakout candle that I had just talked about. And right now we can see that the market has created here two attempts of the resistance or actually one attempt. I would say this is these two candles together are one single attempt. Now we can expect from the pair to create another pullback and we can expect to start shorting the euro USD right from the second attempt of the resistance right here. So at re resistance number two, we can start again uh, shorting the pair. So therefore, let me just drag this line a little bit more, just like that. And I want to go to the one hour time frame to confirm. Yes, perfectly fine. Yes, exactly. This is where I can start shorting the euro USD. So we have to wait for the pair to rise for another 30, 34 pips before it's going to be valid for the short. That being said, uh, Euro USD 
is going to be good for the short at 1.19437. And of course, for the safe zone, the safe zone should be ranging just a little bit above that resistance level right here, uh, support level right here, sorry. Just like that. So it's going to be lasting for about 61 pips. Sorry, it is, what it, it is what it is, because if we started shorting the pair right here, we always have to consider that it might actually rise a little bit more just to revisit that broken support level right here. And after that, it might fall. But however, in my opinion, with the weakness of the euro right now and the strength that the dollar has gained after the Congress has approved Mr. Joe Biden's plan to fight COVID-19 uh, with $1.9 trillion, uh, dollars i believe this is gonna uh, boost the euro sorry it's gonna boost uh, up the uh, usd uh, dollar and therefore we can start uh, we can expect from the pair to uh, immediately fall right after that level right here i don't I, I really doubt that the pair is actually gonna rise all the way to our zone uh, safe zone i doubt that but however we have to make the safe zone just in case anyone or uh, just in case if the trade is gonna go against our analysis so Regarding the take profit level, let's go back to the daily chart again. And our target, if we started shorting the EURUSD right now from that level, is going to be the next support. Let me just delete this one, it's annoying. Exactly. Right now, as we can see that the pair has actually made the breakout from that support level. So therefore, our target is going to be just the next support right after that level, which is in the, which actually lays right here. Therefore, we, are, we actually start, we can start looking for about 120 pips profit from this trade. Therefore, the take profit level was 1.18258. There goes your signal for the Euro USD today. And I really hope it's going to work very well. And of course, guys, I have to remind you that you should only short the pair only if you see here a good price action indicates a bearish momentum. Don't ever sell the Euro USD if you see right here a bullish breakout candle or a strong bullish momentum. That doesn't mean you have to start shorting it at all. Just wait for the perfect moment. Once you see the market is actually falling or showing any bearish uh, momentum, then you can start uh, uh, shorting the, the Euro USD. So again, I hope it's going to be a very good signal and hopefully it will bring us lots of profits. Let's now move to the pound USD. Okay, now I'm aware we talked uh, for a long time on the Euro USD, more than six minutes, seven minutes actually, I'm analyzing the Euro USD. So we're going to use the same fundamentals on the pound USD as well. So for the pound USD, as we can see, the pair right now is moving in a bearish momentum. What we can expect right here, if we look carefully, we can see right here that the pair or the pound USD is having a head and shoulders pattern, indicates that most likely the pair is gonna continue the fall. Now, right now, we can see that the pair actually has respected this long-term resistance and therefore right here we can see that the pair has created a single attempt of the resistance right now the pair is moving in a consolidation mode or actually ranging if we go down to the uh, this this is by the way the four hour time frame if we go to the one hour time frame we can see that the the pound usd has started already the bearish mo uh, movement right now as I said before, we are having here a single attempt of the resistance. If let me just zoom out. So this is the resistance right here and the market after the, uh, we can see that this resistance has become support for a really long time. And right now we can see that the market has created here the bearish breakout from that long term support level. And that resistance right here is keeping its position right now as a resistance. And as we can see right here, the market has created here. A resistance number one or a single attempt of the resistance and therefore we can expect from the market right now to pull back another time or uh, sorry for another for another time and created or sorry to create a resistance number two at the resistance number two is going to be our golden chance to start shorting the pound usd and if we did we can expect from the pair to continue the fall all the way to revisit that broken resistance on 1.37515 Remember guys, I'm on the one hour time frame. All of these analysis are done on the one hour time frame. Let's go now back to the four hour time frame. And that is exactly what I'm talking about. This is the resistance right here, where that is actually our target if we started shorting the pound USD right from that point right here. So therefore, guys, if you if you notice I'm talking fast because right now we need to finish quickly. I, I feel that we spend a really long time on the Euro USD and we don't have much time for the other pairs. So let me just give you the ideas directly. Uh, 
sorry, 1.38627 is where are when uh, we are going to start short the pound USD, and the target is actually going to be about uh, 113 pips, and the safe zone should be ranging just right here above that resistance level, as we can see here. We had this resistance level, and we can expect from the market if it ever gonna go against our direction that it might reverse inside right here this resistance or inside the safe zone. And after that, the market is gonna continue the fall all the way to our take profit level. So the safe zone is actually ranging for only 53 pips, which is really fair enough, exactly like this and like that. And for the take profit level, take profit is gonna be 1.37492. Hopefully it's going to be a very good signal and hopefully we will bring, it will bring us a lot of profits. Let's now take a, uh, take a look at the AUD USD. Now the AUD USD actually has very similar to the pound USD created here, what seems like a head and shoulders pattern. And right now we can expect from the pound, sorry, from the AUD USD to also make up another pullback and that support level is going to be revisited again or retested. And right after that, we can start again shorting the pair what we can see right here also is that the pair is moving in a consolidation mode as well very similar to the pound usd these two setups are very similar right now what we need to do is to find the strong key resistance levels and from that point we can start shorting the aud usd and if we look at this pattern or this chart right here in front of me uh, this is exactly the long or sorry the strong resistance and the very same level was actually a support for some time. Remember also I'm on the four hour time frame. So what we can expect from the AUD USD is on Monday opening is going to actually revisit that st the same level of the resistance again. And fr right from that point, we can also start shorting the pair and hopefully aiming at least the lowest level of the support as 0 0.75655. So therefore, we can expect expect to, to make at least 134 pips profit from this trade. Actually, I'm going to change it to make it the support level right here. So let me draw for you the safe zone. The safe zone should be ranging just a little bit above that resistance. Because as I said before, if the pair going to go against our direction, we can expect from it to rise a little bit more to hit that resistance. But I think that's going to be the maximum. And after that, the pair is going to continue the fall. Honestly speaking, I believe the pair is going to continue the fall even before reaching our sell area. But however, for the safety and for uh, saving everyone's funds, in, just in case uh, things went uh, bad, this is exactly where I'm going to start shorting the AUD USD as 0 0.76974. Uh, the safe zone is ranging for about 44 pips, which is really also fair enough. I don't think there is any no, any any need at all to make it higher than that. And the take profit level is going to be 0 0.75822. Hopefully also it's going to be a very good signal and will bring us lots of profits. Let's take a look right now at the USD CAD. Now the first look at the USD CAD on the 4 hour time frame is that it's so messy, it's so random. But however, if you want to see the bigger picture, as I'm telling you always, you always have to go to the bigger time frame. So let's go to the daily chart. Aha, now it makes more sense. Now on the daily chart, we can notice right here that the USD CAD is facing a strong support zone right here, exactly like that. And we can expect right now from the USD CAD to actually continue the rise. Uh, that support level here is very strong. And as we can see, the pair has created here a one attempt of the breakout or what seemed like a breakout, but the market has immediately pushed up again. And we can see right here, the several attempts, one, two, three, there was several attempts to break out from that support zone. But however, the market eventually has failed to go below that support zone on 1.26038. Therefore, that's going to be our good point or good uh, opportunity to start again buying the USD CAD and the target is going to be definitely the resistance right here at 1.28530. So that being said, let's go back to the 4 hour time frame just to make sure where we can start again buying the pair. And right now, I'm going to drag this line a little bit more up just like this. So the USD CAD should be valid for the buy after falling for another 35 pips. Uh, I have, by the way, I have um, uh, drawn my line right here based on that support zone right here. And the rejection happened many times exactly at the very same level of the support right here. So therefore, this is exactly where we can start buying the USD CAD. 
uh, the buy at 1.26169 and the safe zone should be ranging just below a little bit below that support level exactly like right here because as we can see this is the end of the support zone and therefore we can expect from the pair to be ranging just inside the support zone so therefore that's going to be our safe zone exactly like this perfect and for the take profit level as i, as I mentioned before it's going to be actually the peak of the resistance right here go back to the daily chart uh no actually it's higher than that and um, there is no need to be so greedy that's gonna be our target actually let me just even drag it a little bit more down just like this so the target this time for the usd cad is gonna be for about 138 pips so therefore take profit is gonna be 1.27540 um, guys i'm really trying my best to not make this video so long so therefore there goes your signal for the usd cad and hopefully also it's gonna be a very good and profitable signal now let's look at the usd jpy actually i have analyzed it before a recording so therefore as we can see uh, the usd jpy is moving in in this uh, bearish trend or this trend line as you can see the market has created here a resistance trend line number one and uh, here another attempt uh, resistance trend line number two and the market right now is going to create the third attempt of its uh, or, or, or on that resistance trend line so therefore, we can expect from the USDJPY this week to, to continue the rise all the way just to hit that resistance trend line. Right now, I'm analyzing this, by the way, on the weekly chart, not even the daily. So let's now move to the daily chart and see what's going on. So what we are talking about right now is that after the market has created the breakout from that long term support, uh, resistance, we can expect from the market to continue the rise. I want you to notice here something on the daily chart. This is the breakout candle I'm talking about. This is the kind of price action that you want to see to confirm that the, uh, most likely the market is actually going to continue the rise. We can see the same candle has appeared right here. Exactly. It's a replica. This is the same candle that actually has made the breakout from that resistance. And immediately right after the, the appearance of it, the market resumed the rise. If I'm not mistaken, we can see exactly right here exactly right here we can see after the appearance of this candle the market has also resumed the rising or e um, even right here by the way this is also the same candle once after the its appearance the market continue the rise and that's why i'm very convinced that the market actually gonna fall a little bit more to retest the broken resistance right here this resistance right here at 108.145 uh, that the market is actually going to be valid for the buy right after that level so that being said uh usd gpy is good for the buy at 108.150 and the safe zone should be ranging just a little bit more below that sub uh, zone below resistance zone as you can see this is the resistance zone it ends with this uh, wick right here and actually uh, after that we can see that the, the support zone has started so therefore this is going to be our safe zone and the target this time is going to be right here the peak of the resistance exactly right here exactly actually the target should be the peak of the resistance trend line once you see the market actually has touched this resistance trend line you should know that you should actually stop the trade on the usd gpy however for uh safety for the safety of our members and followers i'm going to select the peak of the resistance right here at 109.689 as our take profit level which is going to be about 155 pips of profit hopefully we will make them so take profit level 109.689 uh, sorry 689 689 and uh, let me just draw for you the edge of the safe zone just the shape sorry of the safe zone so there goes your signal for the usd gpy and i really hope also it's gonna work very well and bring us lots of profits now let's take a look at the usd chf so the usd chf also on the four hour time frame seems to be very strong bullish momentum as well let's go to the daily chart on the daily chart we can notice that the usd chf has finally it created here the breakout from this very long term resistance since august 2020 on 0.92791 and seems likely the bullish momentum is actually going to continue uh, the rise or the market is the market is actually going to continue the rise 
our next target for the UCCHF has to be at least this previous support level exactly right here uh, let me just uh, make it correct exactly this previous support level right here uh, 0 0.93720 uh, uh, is definitely going to be the next target right after the breakout from this long-term resistance and this price action also indicates a continuation in the uh, rise so therefore let's go to back after analyzing on daily chart let's go to the four hour time frame to decide where we can start again buying the USDCHF. now the first thing we can notice right here this is a, a single attempt of a support this was a support number one and therefore the market on friday night has closed as a dodgy candle uh, this in the dodgy candle usually indicates that the market might make another pullback so we can start uh, buying the uh, USDCHF at the second attempt of the support because right here we can see we had a support number one so the support number two or the second attempt of the support is going to be the level where we can start again buying the USDCHF therefore um, USDCHF is good for the buy as 0 0.92791 and the target is going to be right here after about 95 pips on the previous support level this is take profit level as 0 0.93720 and the safe zone should be ranging just a little bit below that support level exactly my eyes actually looking at here guys I'm looking at the support level right here so this is gonna be our safe zone and therefore the safe zone should be ranging for about 44 pips which is also good and fair enough there goes your signal for the UCCHF and I really hope it's gonna work very well also and bring us lots of profits let's take a look right now at the gold so right now as we can see right here the gold has actually moved has actually moved in a very strong bearish momentum for quite a long time and I want to show you something if we look carefully here at the daily chart for the gold you remember guys the candle I just told you about the one for the strong indicator for the bearish continuation with a small tail as uh, sorry a small very tiny small wick at the stop and normal sized tail at its bottom look at the at the market and see how many times it happened indeed we can see the candle appeared right here appeared right here uh, we can see here the exception the market has actually created this breakout and the candle sadly or actually the candle in the end the market continued the fall but if we started shorting right here you're gonna fail for sure but however in, in general the continuation of the, of the bearish momentum has continued and um, we can see the candle even right here by the way this is the candle as well and remember guys I'm on the daily chart we can see it also right here and right here and actually almost everywhere I can see this candle almost everywhere anyway we can see the candle has appeared eventually right here as well this is the candle that usually continue uh, indicates the continuation of the bearish fall or, or the bearish momentum therefore I believe that the gold this week is going to be also good for the short as well now the it's a matter of finding the right um, level where we can start shorting the gold if we zoom in right here we can see that right, right here we had this long-term support level at 1716.58 that was the strong key support level and the market was holding the position for quite a long time as we can see right here and the candle we just talked about has actually made the breakout from the same level of that previous support and the market actually right here has created with this candle as well has created a resistance number one and right now the market has seemed to be reversing and it's actually gonna eventually make a pullback to create another attempt of the resistance as well so of course all of that has been analyzed on the one hour time uh, sorry on the daily time frame let's go to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame this is what i just told you about to be a resistance number one and seems like the market is on, is on its way to create the second attempt of the resistance and the same level also was a strong key support level that means that we're actually start going to start shorting the gold uh, sell the gold exactly at the level 1716.58 and for the safe zone the safe zone should be ranging just a little bit above that resistance right here so the safe zone actually that's quite a lot um, the safe zone should be ranging just below that support level exactly right here so it should be about 123 pips only 
and the take profit level let's be just realistic about our uh, selecting our levels of the take profit level and therefore i um uh, shit okay just like that perfect so the the take profit level should be ranging right here exactly at the next support after making the breakout from that support level so this is the support that we have made the market has created the breakout of it and if we started short right here we can expect from the market to fall all the way at least to retest that all that support level as well this is going to be the lowest that the gold has reached in all 2020 in my opinion or actually since uh, april 2020 sorry for some reason i thought this is january anyway uh, this is what's uh, gonna happen i believe eventually the gold is gonna fall all the way to the support level at 1,678.54 uh, and even lower than that before it's even gonna be valid for the buy but until then we are only going to short the gold so let me just mark for you the take profit level the take profit is gonna be 1,678.54 there goes your signals for this week and guys uh sorry if i was talking fast or uh not clear because i just want to finish this video very quickly i just don't want to make it so long and i believe uh, it's gonna be a very good week for everyone and hopefully it's gonna be very very profitable so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching